And welcome back to Virginia This Morning Live on CBS6. Dogs are man's best friend and they are loving and loyal. Today we bring awareness for adoption on this national Make a Dog's Day Day. Here's Jessica, Jessica's conversation with a top pet advocate. It's time to celebrate your four-legged friend and do something special for the canine in your life. Today is National Make a Dog's Day, and we're going to talk with Dan Shackner, pet advocate and puppy bowl referee who joins us by satellite for a great conversation. We welcome him to Virginia this morning. Dan, it's great to see you. Thank you. Happy National Make a Dog's Day. Happy National Make a Dog's Day to you. This is celebrated on October 22nd. It's a nationwide effort and it's powered by Subaru. How did this all come together? Yeah, you know, I've I've been partnered with Subaru for years. They've been a partner for us for Puppy Bowl, which is a show that I, of course, work on and have been on for 10 years. They've always been a huge advocate of animal adoption, same way as we are here at Animal Planet. Um, two, one year ago, was their first year for this National Make a Dog's Day initiative. And what they're trying to do on October 22nd is get the word out for those last two adopt dogs. These are the dogs that are languishing in shelters that may have a harder time to get adopted. Bluey here is a foster pup from New York City, uh, came up transported from Georgia as part of a litter that was abandoned. And uh, the rescue, my local rescue here in New York City called Foster Dogs NYC, needed some help with fostering, so I volunteered. And that's how I'm helping out this now, this uh, National Make a Dog's Day, because essentially, as you can see, got my hands full. Bluey um, <laughs> is an example of the kind of dogs that might need extra help in the shelters. The ones that are overcrowding the shelters because of animal overpopulation. But let's not forget senior pets, pets with special needs. All those dogs may also need our help. So it's important to take a look at your local shelter and ask them, do they need help? What do they need? Do they need materials, supplies? Do they need volunteerism? Do they need time? Do they need money? Check out your local shelter. And if you already have a dog yourself, as you do, that's great. Get the word out on social media. Do something special for your dog, but also highlight, the, highlight those dogs that need to. Dan, that's a great, great suggestion. You think about reaching out in so many different ways, time, talent, and treasure. Maybe you have the space to bring a special needs dog home and you have that time and attention, but reaching out and speaking yep. with the organization can make all the difference. I had a friend recently who uh, adopted a very large dog that really was just a beautiful, beautiful friend but because he was a larger dog, he wasn't getting the attention from everybody coming through and might have been a little harder to adopt. So they do have special circumstances and you never know if you might be able to help and certainly make a dog's day in that way too. I love what you said, time, talent, and treasure. Those are the ways that we can give and they apply to everybody. If you don't have the money to give, we understand that these can be tough times for some people you might have time to give. And if you don't have time to give, that's very understandable too. Maybe you can get the word out with your talent. Maybe you have a big social media following, or maybe you've got a, a circle of people in your own community that might want to hear about a dog in need. There's always something that you can do. If you can't donate, you can volunteer. If you can't volunteer, you can advocate. So yeah, we're definitely on the same page there. What are some of the super special ways that you like to uh, make the day special for your furry friend or you see others doing that for theirs? Any, any good hints? Sometimes we need some inspiration. Yeah. You, if you have a dog, you are the best judge of what makes that dog happy, right? You, you, especially this year more than ever, we've been spending a lot of time with our animals. So we know what makes them happy. So whatever it is, favorite dog treat, maybe there's a dog park or a certain walk. Maybe take them on an extra long walk if they love if they love walking. Uh, puppy play dates are always fun, especially outdoors. Um, these are these are great things that only you know. Those, those special things. Maybe there's an area underneath their ear that they really love to get scratched, and you do that extra long that day. Let the word out. We're just trying to share the love, and we're just trying to, in addition to share the love, make it a win-win for everybody. You know, get the word out about your local shelter, and then hopefully help those dogs in need. But at the same time, help your own dog too. So it's it's I um you know it's love all around. And that's I love point. it, Dan. Great suggestions. And you're right. Maybe Beans and I will go for an extra long walk and then figure out how we can make a dog's day in another way. Thanks so much for making time with for us uh, this morning.
Thanks, Jessica. Appreciate it as well. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And as Dan suggested too, you can make a dog's day. Be sure to use the hashtag, hashtag make a dog's day and share how you are making it special for your furry friends and maybe creating space for some others. We appreciate uh, Dan making time for us. For more information, you can visit WTVR.com slash VTM. Stay tuned. All I tell right. you what. Yeah. <laughs> dogs. I love dogs. All right. The dog so days. Well, look who look who's relishing. I asked him what he wanted to do today, and he hopped up <laughs> and, and said, "You know what? Yeah, I think that, I think this is good. We'll go for a walk later and enjoy the day. Enjoy the so day." His brother, dogs, so Roscoe. Yes. You know, people ask, "Where's Roscoe?" Well, Roscoe's a behind the scenes kind of dog. He's like a running the camera. He's making yeah. sure the lighting's right and all of that. You're spot on. It's as though you know him. And but currently he is on his sanctioned break and he is just taking a nap on another couch <laughs> in the house. It's that time of the morning. <laughs> so um, are both of your dogs rescued? I know uh, Beans has a, a great story. How about Roscoe? Roscoe is also a rescue. He is from Richmond SPCA. So we went in, funny story, went in, you know, we were just thinking, eh, maybe it's time to look for a dog. Yeah. So we went in and we saw, you know, everybody's very excited and it's all about finding that right personality match. You know, we've talked about that often on the show, finding the friend that matches with you so you can create this, you know, great friendship. So everybody's really bouncing off the walls and, and really excited. And I'm walking through and I see this sweet, sweet little looking hound dog, hound beagle mix, curled up in the tiniest little ball in, in the back of the space at Richmond SPCA. And I was like, that's that, he's the one, this is it. Let's, let's do the meet and greet, let's see how this goes. And he was so sweet and so quiet, quiet. <laughs> Was the <laughs> and it was the, the last time thing. he was ever quiet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he was called Linus when he was at Richmond SPCA because he just was curled up in his little blanket. Well, Linus came home with us, curled up in a blanket, and kind of looked around for about two days, and then he was like, "All right, you guys look good." Ow! <laughs> <laughs> and now the whole neighborhood can hear Roscoe. So, you know, that's the rest is history. He found his voice. <laughs> well, uh, the part I love about this story is you say you went and it's like, maybe that's no, it was the time and you fell in was, love. So that was, yeah. it was like, bam, you walked in that it's door. True. It was going to happen. <laughs> it was going to happen. I'm foolish to think it was not going to happen. That's right. But both are great additions to the family and each have their own little personalities. And Beans is definitely much more this side of the camera. Roscoe works behind the scenes. You're right. <laughs> Doing a great job back there, Roscoe. Keep up the nap. We hope you'll stay tuned. Virginia This Morning returns so you can watch some more of Roscoe's work after this.